guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to Armored Warfare. As you just saw, the Spirit Haven season has begun. And with it comes a bunch of brand new vehicles pending. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. And new missions, new achievements, and of course a new contract set of missions for a new vehicle. So first things first, here is the Type 16 MCV. Everybody should have this unlocked as long as you have played through the Baroche tech tree up to tier 7 and gotten through the Leclerc prototype. Now, I had been saying in my previous videos that this was going to possibly be a new dealer, even though there were going to be access through that tech tree. I was wrong, I'm just going to show you what I mean right now. There is no new dealer, they are just a part of the Francine de la Roche tech tree. So, they said through the Leclerc prototype, but it looks like you can actually get it just through the C13. So again, mess that up. If you have the Leclerc 7 prototype, you've already ranked up the C13, so you have that unlocked. You don't unlock it through the Leclerc. And you can also unlock it through the Type 90 on the Chinese tech tree. So if you want to go that route, it shows up here along with the other vehicles. But that's where you will find it now. When I say pending, we do get the Haramel Tier 8 light tank from Indonesia. And we do get the K21 premium vehicle in game as well for tier 8, that AFB. However, the AS21, the K153C, and of course the K2 Black Panther are all in progress or works in progress. They will be coming out later in the season. And as you just saw, and the reason I like to do that intro is not only was it cool, but the AFB you see in the very beginning of that with the auto cannon and the MVT you see there as well would be the AS21 and the K2 Black Panther. So we do have models of them, they are working in game, that's what that intro allows us to see, it's just they're not going to be available to play yet, they are still being balanced. Or they're just withholding the content to make the season that much more interesting. Now this K21 is going to be just for sale in the game for the 9000 gold you see there, but the reason I kind of hesitated to say that is to celebrate, or I guess to launch, this new season you can actually buy this vehicle in the premium store right now along with boosters to help you unlock the progression vehicle so this is the first time I've ever seen armor warfare sell boosters like this but essentially you can buy this vehicle and it comes with 450,000 global reputation that's this which you can use to unlock vehicles however you want and it also comes with 5,000 gold and like I said, the K21. Now that's going to run $100 American. Or you can opt out for the $50 version, which is, of course, half the stuff. 300,000 reputation. I think 1,500 gold. 14 days of premium time. The other one comes with a month of premium time. However, for $50, you don't actually get the K21. So while you can buy it technically in store, it is going to cost you a lot of money. Personally, I think it's a ridiculous amount of money, uh, quite honestly. But you're not just getting that for $100. Like I said, you will be getting 5,000 gold, you will be getting 450,000 reputation, and 30 days of premium time. So maybe not totally overpriced, but just a little bit. Uh, before I go and look at the contract vehicle, here's a quick look at the new garage. Oh, okay. this guy. He's I don't know what he's doing, but that's cool. So this is a garage we've seen in a bunch of the news update videos that I've done, and it is in South Korea. Very nicely rendered. Of course, it is just a garage, so you might not like it, but I think it's pretty cool. And that blue, the Japanese vehicle blue, is just for Japanese vehicles. I'll show you what I mean when I look at uh, I'll just get off right. the harem out. This is actually in the Indonesian standard color, which is a dark green. So they do have nation-specific base paints, which is cool. If you're into that kind of thing, I certainly am, so that's cool to me. Of course, we have the new operations, starting you off in... Yes, starting you in Japan and going around the Pacific, which is very cool. I will be playing through these missions, using these new vehicles in a couple later videos. This is just going to round out this quick update video, and then I'll be doing reviews of all these vehicles as well. But if you go here to the mission selection page, you 
will get a new contract, which is now it's going to take 500 medals, and for anybody that hasn't done this before, you basically complete these daily tasks for these specific modes, you just do what they tell you, and you can see you get 3 medals, all the way up to 35 medals, that's a new one, I've never seen one that big before, but you collect these, and as long as you collect 500 of these over the course of the entire season, you will get the Type 89 IFD, and it does look pretty stellar. Uh, just the 3D model looks really good. They have the gun ports as it is, an infantry fighting vehicle, which means it does work as an APC as well. That's a, it's going to remind anybody that knows of the BMP family. They also have gun ports here. You can see the two ray bolt launchers on the side, and that really nice 30 millimeter cannon. It's a very sleek, very cool looking vehicle. Super excited to be able to have the chance to get it. I will be grinding missions just to get this vehicle. Hopefully I'll get it, but we'll see. Now for achievements, right now, just like, <coughs> excuse me, all standard ones, you complete them to get different types of camouflages. Right now, you get the normal Eastern Collector. You just get three vehicles from this five, and then they don't have the third one open yet. Or they do, this is the third one. Ugh, I am just tripping over myself today because what I forgot to tell you is you can't actually do any of these collector ones yet. And before anybody gets the premium vehicle to help make up for this and try to get that base paint, which is a nice sort of navy blue, um, premium vehicles don't count for this. They have to be progression vehicles. And so you actually can't even do this one because you can o there's only two progression vehicles unlocked right now. So that's unfortunate, but you can get a cool decal. And then for various missions, we'll eventually give you camouflage inspired by the nation's present. Not historically, but just in general. So you got some cool blue, it looks like, camouflages for woodland, desert, and the other one. Forest. Nope, I said woodland. Oh, winter. Obviously, blue winter. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the rundown. This is live now, so very exciting. Like I said, I will be doing walk well not walkthroughs per se, but I will be doing playthroughs of the new Spec Ops missions for this season in the season-specific vehicles, and just trying to have a really great time learning these new vehicles using the AI Aim Assist on the Type 16, and just letting you guys see how they play, and hopefully I will see a lot of you guys in-game playing these vehicles with me so as always please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when any of those videos come up later this week or just give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and you yourself are excited to be playing the spirit haven season as always please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this season these new vehicles things you want to see coming into armor warfare in the future or just thoughts and comments on anything armor warfare related thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time